Some neighbors in Bedsty, Brooklyn, tell us they are heartbroken after demolition work began on a historic mansion they were trying to get landmarked. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger shows us what's happened on Willoughby Avenue. This 120 year old mansion has been a mysterious but welcome site for many in Bedsty. Michael Williams has lived here his whole life. For them to tear it down, it's awful. The French Gothic inspired mansion was built for a successful German grocer, Jacob Dangler, completed in 1902. For decades, it served as a Masonic lodge. But yesterday, residents who've been trying to prevent its destruction spotted demolition workers on the property. Up until the pandemic, it was a rentable venue. It was rented every single weekend. Neighbors who have been working for months to get this building landmarked stood outside in the sweltering heat. I was doing laundry right here, and I saw them taking out like an 18th century loom and throwing it in the garbage truck. Many pointed out this man as the developer, Tomer Ehrlich. While signs outside the site say it's still owned by the Masonic Lodge that's been here for decades, Department of Building Permits show him as the owner. We tried to ask him for comment. Why not? No point. I mean, people in this community feel strongly about this. Would you at least respond to their concerns? The building department issue a permit, we're doing our job and that's it. A spokesperson from the mayor's office told us in a statement in part, as the Landmarks Preservation Commission considered this building for potential designation as a landmark, the developer was able to legally obtain demolition permits. We will continue listening to and working with the community. Some elected officials have been trying to obtain a stop work order. We thought they should at least give a yes or no to this being a landmark before this de de demolition happens. Sources with the city say such an order would only be issued if DOB inspectors saw dangerous conditions on site. Now, we did see DOB inspectors at the scene today, but a couple of hours later, as you can see, the demolition work just kept going. To see it so carelessly destroyed is heartbreaking. While our cameras were rolling, 12 decades of history reduced to rubble in one day. In Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News.